So I just wanted to address one of the most common questions I get, which is what language should I learn if I'm just starting out in bioinformatics? The simple answer is both R and Python, but if you don't have the time to learn both languages, which one should you choose? Do you just want to apply already developed methods to your data? For example, do you want to run differential expression in DSeq2 or just do basic single cell analysis? then R is probably your best choice. Or do you want to do more sophisticated data analysis like machine learning? Or do you want to handle very large data sets? Then Python might be better for you. I also personally think that Python is an easier language to learn because it's a more popular language and there are more resources available. We look at a recent GitHub user survey. The main point here is R seems to have peaked in popularity and may be decreasing or stagnant, but Python continues to increase. But I do want to point out that both languages are very useful and can more or less do what the other can do, but they just might have varying difficulties or speeds associated with them. I personally like Python better. I think it's just a better language overall, but I cannot just go right out and say, use Python just because of how important R is for biologists and bioinformatics. Biologists, they keep on learning R, and they keep on writing packages in R, and then they keep on teaching other people R, so that's this perpetual cycle. So it's almost impossible not to be at least a little familiar with R, even if you devote most of your time to Python. But this is changing. Until recently, you had to use R for single cell analysis, but now you can do it in Python. For that, I use ScanP, which I see in Nature and other high-impact journals all the time now. And there's also BioPython, which is really good for handling sequence data and other common biological data types. I use it all the time to handle FASTA sequences. It's not quite there for all the other analysis pipelines like regular RNA-seq. I still haven't come across one that's better than DSeq2, for example. But to kind of just put this in a nice little package, let me just touch on some of the biggest pros and cons of learning one over the other. Python. It's one of the most widely used languages, especially for data analysis. Here, if we look at a recent Stack Overflow developer survey, we see here Python is one of the top languages. And if we want to find R, we have to scroll way down. We see R is way down here at 5.7% versus the around 50% of Python. If you have an issue, it's easier to Google it. If you don't know how to do something, it's easier to find an answer. Personally, I think that's one of the biggest benefits to Python. And there are many packages available in Python that just make it better for data analysis overall. For example, NumPy, Pandas, and SciPy, which are three extremely powerful tools to manage data and do statistics. So Python is better for machine learning. Python is faster if you have large data sets. I personally think it's just a better language overall. But like I mentioned, there just aren't that many modules yet for bioinformatics or the biology field, even though that's slowly changing. So again, if you want to learn Python or focus on Python, you're going to have to learn a little R as well. For R as a language, I don't really have that many pros other than what I've said multiple times is that it's just more developed for biologists. And the only pro I can really think of is that there are more biologically oriented packages. For example, we have Bioconductor, which has thousands of packages available for doing a variety of different biology oriented analyses. So for me personally, I do all my bulk RNA seq in R, and then my single cell analysis now I do in Python with ScanP. I just find it to be a lot easier to use than Surat. And I also find visualizations to be more customizable in Python. You can use one or two lines of code in R and get a nice heat map, but without really knowing the inner workings of R, they aren't that easy to customize. In Python, it's easy to make completely customizable visuals. So to just kind of wrap it all up, if you see bioinformatics and coding as being a big part of your future, I would pick Python. If you just want to learn enough to analyze your data, then I would pick R. But again, knowing both is better.